Hey boys, how's it going? Been meaning to film a video for quite some fucking time talking about this kind of shit. I'll make it nice and short. Uh, my, I've got a problem right now, and my biggest problem is that I don't have a blue crab market. Now last year I had sort of a fucking blue crab market, which means it was bouncing around I was selling to this guy, selling to that guy, getting shitty prices for this, shitty prices for that, because everybody in this fucking town knows that I'm desperate to get rid of blue crabs, right? Anyway, I had a really, really good uh, stone crab market. And I was selling stone crabs real good towards the end of last summer. But the problem with stone crabs is that They've got it so that it's they're closed during the middle of the summer, which is peak blue crab season. Well, peak blue crab season is like the spring, but anyway, it goes all summer. Good blue crabs catching them. Anyway, they're closed from June 14th, which was yesterday, to August 17th. So I can't go get any fucking stone crabs this whole time now my plan while I was away was to get back as soon as I can and fire this boat up and put it in the water with a bunch of new traps that I got and go catch the shit out of stone crabs but I had problems with this fucking boat and I ended up having some other problems with some other things and one thing led to another and then fucking China got me I've had China for the past fucking week and a half I'm just about over China now. I still feel like shit, but I'm out doing shit because fuck it. I'll be alright. I don't think, I don't even know about some, like the 78th fucking variant they got should be alright. I don't know. I don't know nothing about it. Fuck it. Anyway. Anyway, I had some real big problems with my boat. I ended up getting that squared away. I had to put a new trim pump on it. Then I had a really, really, really bad problem with the inside of it. Air pressure and shit building up, corrosion. I had to get this little part welded on the side of my motor. Ended up spending some money on it, but now I got the boat back. Knock on wood. First time I've had it out in a long time. But I am out and about on the boat doing some work today with the old man moving some floating docks for some people <laughs> um so yeah the, the reason i'm not blue crabbing right now is because i cannot sell them i can go catch blue crabs i know i can i've got a bunch of brand new traps the boat is running knock on wood but right now i could probably get rid of about a bushel and a half a day that will not pay any bills that i got I gotta be able to get rid of about five bushels a day. I know I gotta be able to be able to get rid of about six or seven. If I can catch about five or six, then that'll be all right. There is a million fucking markets in this town, but they're all clogged up with a bunch of people that already already got people selling to. And my stone crab guy, he's a good man, but. He buys blue crabs from another guy in town. He's real loyal to him. I went around to a few crabbers asking, hey, why don't I go, why don't I crab for you? And I'll just give you all my crabs and you just give me money for them. And you can sell them on top of your crabs. They don't want to do that. So right now I got a few different options I can go do. I thought I had something lined up for a while and that ended up falling, falling through. I got a few different things I can go do for work. What I want to do is blue crab more than anything, but I can't do it right now. If I had a guy call me up and say, yeah, I'll, I'll take everything you got. And I'll say, cool. Then that gives me opportunity to grow. If I can give you everything that I got, then I'll put out more and I'll, I'll start catching more. These people, they don't, want more, they don't want any less than like 20 bushels a day if you're gonna give them some, some of them but I can't go catch 20 bushels a day if I can't go catch five bushels a day. 
and then if I can't go catch 10 bushels a day. You know what I mean? I mean you gotta work up to it. You gotta be able to go catch shit, and move it, and catch shit, and move it, and add more shit, and move your shit around to different places where you can get more shit. I can't do that right now because I don't have a market for hardly anything. But it'll be all right, I got the boat. I'm thinking that I might go work for a friend of mine doing god damn look at there this slut sexy bitch god damn it's a big ass wig ready oh man i got my monster and uh try and move some crabs i guess a little bit on the side even though i hate that fucking word on the side i don't want my shit to be on the side I want it to be, I want everything else that I do to be on the side. You know what I mean? But I, gotta, I guess I gotta get to know the right people a little bit more. I already know a lot of people, but I guess that ain't good enough. You gotta make some more friends. You gotta do some shit, get some shit done. I still got a decent little chunk of my Arizona money. Pretty fucking decent chunk, but I'm terrified to get rid of it. So I hadn't been hardly spending any money. But that's the thing is if I'm gonna go all the way into crabbing, I gotta buy a little truck, like a Ranger or S10 or something like that that's good on gas that I can haul crabs and haul bait in. I gotta buy a, a hauler. I don't have a hauler yet. Fuck sakes. I need a hauler. Cause my hands are so fucked up I can't go crabbing a hundred traps a day with fucked up hands. I know guys that'd be like, shit. I've had fucking fucked up hands all my life, son. It was like, you ain't man enough. Maybe not, but bottom line is I can't do shit unless I have a fucking pot hauler. That's $1,500. A little truck's gonna be 2,500, three grand. And I got a little bit of money, but I don't have the kind of money to go spending a lot of money because I still got my fucking credit card I gotta deal with. I've been paying a lot of money on my credit card. A lot, a lot, a lot. But it still ain't enough. I'm gonna still keep paying into it. So I might go work for this guy for a while. So keep putting a little bit of money into different things. Keep trying to save money at the same time that I'm spending money down on my credit card. I can't go spend all my money on my credit card because then I won't have any money to do anything with. Now, if I had like a nine to five or something and I had this money sitting here, I'd be like, fuck it, I'll pour all of it in my credit card and it would be good for me in the end. But, you know, small business owner, I got shit I got to take care of. So, I can't go get rid, getting rid of all of it, but I, I got to hang on to it at the same time. I haven't made a whole bunch of money since I've been back. But now I got, I got an opportunity that I can go make some pretty good money get some really good experience I won't say what it is yet because I might not get, get to do it but I'm gonna try I guess anyway that's what's going on with me right now if you pricks know or if you pricks care to know I haven't made a video of me talking about shit going on in a long time so I'm in a whole lot better place than I was about three four months ago I was in a bad way, brother, about four or five months ago. But now, things are looking all right. As long as you got some kind of a plan. For a while there, I didn't have hardly any plan, but now I got some kind of plan. And I've got some really good experience under my belt from that job. And I don't want to jinx anything, but I'm pretty sure I can get on another one of them jobs real easy when the next one comes. There might be another one in the fall, there might be another one in the spring. I'm hoping there'll be another one in the spring. That'd be real nice. Like early, early spring. Well, this was, I left out of here March 1st to go to that job. But if I can do this thing with this guy for a while, do some seafood here and there, work down my credit card, keep some good money in my pocket at the same time, then with 
like well long story short i guess the problem with the money that i'm making now or that i that i made then was most of it was for my credit card so if i spend a lot of money on my credit card and i go to work for two and like two and a half months i come back and i got no money then fuck's sake but now that i did that ooh, now that i did that and i'm gonna keep paying money into my credit card keep making a little bit of money here and there if i go on another job be making a little bit more next time then i can uh come back with a lot more money and a lot less debt and still have the boat still have the traps still have the gear still have the knowledge and i'll be able to do all that anyway video is getting too long my speaker just fucking cut off on me made the phone cut off on me things are falling around and going crazy i don't know i'm gonna go cruise around the inlet a little bit even though it's probably not so smart because i just got the boat running i got a anchor with 120 feet of rope on it though so it'll be all right all right, boys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you around.